Welcome back to Animal Based In Your Face with Scott and Pam. Today, I'm going to show you one of my favorite meals to make. It is super easy, healthy, low carb, and it's excellent reheated for leftovers. I am actually going to be making this for my lunches for the next two to three days. What you're going to need is zucchini and yellow squash, which I've already started dicing up my vegetables. And I normally use about four small zucchini and two yellow squash. You can do three zucchini, three yellow squash, however you like it. I just prefer zucchini more in this recipe than the yellow squash. It's just a personal preference. You can also use fresh onion, of course, Fresh onion is best. I don't have it on hand today, and I actually haven't been eating as many onions as we used to, so I'm gonna be using minced onions. But if you love onions, I highly encourage using some fresh onion. We'll also need ghee. This one has the pink Himalayan salt in it. You can use tallow, uh, bacon grease, whatever you want, but that's my choice today. You'll need a knife to slice your vegetables, and I am using smoked sausage. Kielbasa is fine also. A lot of the kielbasas are very high in sugar and bad ingredients. So since I don't have a butcher here locally that I purchase from, I always find the cleanest ingredient, kielbasa or smoked sausage I can find. Now this one is as clean as we have. It only has one gram of sugar and it's got really clean ingredients. So this is what I'm going to be using today. You also need a spatula. I'm using my favorite wooden ones from Amazon and a skillet with a lid. And that is all. I wanted to talk briefly about cutting up the squash and zucchini. We do buy all organic. Um, when I'm cutting up my squash and zucchini, I just take a whole, you know, zucchini or yellow squash. I cut it in half. And then I take that and I'm gonna cut it in half again so it's gonna look like this. And then after that, then I'm just gonna cut it in smaller pieces like this and I'm just gonna dice it. So that's how I'm getting those sizes. Now, you can do a bigger, you know, chunky slice like a round one and leave this solid like this. You can leave your zucchini solid and then just cut and you'll have like round dices and that's perfectly fine. But it's just a personal preference that I do the diced. I think it just cooks better and it cooks faster. So that is the reason why I dice mine. I think I mentioned earlier, you can also use an onion and you, if you're using a fresh onion, just go ahead and cut it up whatever size that you want and mix it in with your vegetables. A lot of people don't know, they consider this a vegetable like I just said a minute ago, but squash and zucchini is actually a fruit. And if you don't believe me, go look it up. And since we're animal based, we don't eat plants, but we do eat squash and zucchini because they are considered fruits. So if you didn't know that, that's just a little tip for you. Now, next, we're going to go ahead and start heating up our skillet. I have it locked on a medium heat. I am using an induction cooktop. So next, I'm just going to take me a good spoonful of our ghee or whatever you're using to cook yours in, and I'm going to put it in a skillet and let it melt. Okay, I got a big, huge tablespoon. I'm going to put this in here. Excuse the noise. Just gonna let that melt. And once it's melted and the skillet's hot, I'm gonna start cooking my squash and zucchini first because it does take a little bit longer. I wanted to talk about what I'm gonna season it with. Normally for years when I've made this, this has been my favorite seasoning by far. We are a little bit stricter on our seasonings now and the ingredients in them. We always watch for sugars or wheat or whatever it is they put in there that we don't agree with. But if you use John Henry garlic pepper, it is amazing with this. 
but you can see mine is empty because we no longer buy this. So today I'm going to be using just um, pink Himalayan salt, pepper, instead of fresh onion because I don't have it on hand. Like I said, I'm using minced. And then you could also just do a garlic powder or a minced garlic if you like garlic and you don't have a seasoning on hand, just use it with your salt and pepper. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. Now my skillet is warm, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my fruits in there and get those browning. Once all of it is in the skillet, I just kind of toss it around and mix my ghee or whatever you're using um, in place of ghee and just mix it up really well. And then next I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and do it to your, you know, your preference. But I'm just gonna add a little salt, pepper, and I am going to use the minced garlic today instead of the garlic powder, and also adding my minced onions. So if you're using fresh, it should already be in your skillet and mixed in with the rest. I just added my salt and pepper. Season it the way you love it. And next I'm going to do a tablespoon of minced garlic. If you don't like garlic, you can just leave it out. Or like I said, you can use garlic powder. I'm gonna put this in here and then I'm gonna stir it all up. Okay, all mixed up, putting on my lid. And now we're gonna get our smoked sausage, which I'm using, or if you're using a kielbasa or whatever you're using from your butcher, we're gonna go ahead and get this cut up. So let me get this opened and I'll show you how I like to cut mine. Now you can cut yours totally different. This is just what I prefer. So here's my smoked sausage and I'm gonna cut them in little slices this thick, okay? And it's gonna be pretty um, accurate as possible. You don't want a bunch of all different sizes. I like them to be really brown and they cook quicker the smaller that they are. You can also cook these in a separate skillet if you want, then throw them in at the end. But I like to put mine in all together. But either way works great. So let's get this sliced up. And then we'll check on our squash and zucchini. The smoked sausage is all sliced up. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to our skillet. Take the lid off, check on it, and turn it. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend them. Amazon, I'll put the link in the description. It holds your lid. It holds whatever utensil you're cooking with and it keeps it off your countertops. It's awesome. So let's stir this and see how it's going. It's getting soft. The lid's um, been on about eight minutes. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my smoked sausage. The smoked sausage is all in my skillet. I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up really well. And I'm gonna leave the lid off because my squash and zucchini is already getting soft and I don't want it to get mushy. So leave the lid off, stir it up really good. Keep it on a medium, medium high heat and let it brown to whatever doneness that you like. Now we like ours pretty brown, so I'm gonna let it probably cook a little bit longer than most people and we'll be back to check on it in a few minutes. I just flipped all of my vegetables and smoked sausage over. I don't stir it because it will make it mushy. I did kick my heat up to more of a medium high on number eight on our stove. All stoves will cook differently. And while that's cooking and browning, I just wanted to go over and show you. I am meal prepping, so I'm not eating this right now, but my favorite containers are probably the Rubbermaid Brilliance containers. They come in glass and plastic, but they just seal fantastic, and it's airtight. So these are probably my favorite. I also have the Pampered Chef glass and the Pyrex glass, which I, I love these also. The lids just really seem to crack on them, so I've quit purchasing these. So when I get done, what I'm gonna do, I'll let it cool off a little bit and I'm gonna put all of my meals for however many days I'm making in my containers. And once it cools off, I'll put it in my refrigerator and it'll be ready to go every morning when I head off to work and I'll just heat it up at work. Or if I come home and have a late night, 
Then I can just have it for a quick dinner. All I got to do is heat it up. Okay, I'm going to turn my stove off. And I'm going to go ahead and let this sit here and cool since I'm using it for meal prep. But if you're using it for dinner or just a lunch, it's ready to go. So let's turn this off. Let it cool down and then we'll put it in our containers. All right, I went ahead and put my squash zucchini smoked sausage in three different containers. So I'll have lunch Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That's three meals for this week that are meal prepped and ready to go. And it only took us about 30 to 35 minutes to cook this up. Super easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple recipe for a lunch or dinner meal. Be sure to follow us on Animal Based In Your Face on YouTube. Subscribe, click the bell for notifications. And then you can also find us on Facebook and our private support group on Animal Based In Your Face Tribe. Until next time.